Well, this story right here is wild. And it shows just where we sit in terms of technology and what they're prepared to do here. We've talked a lot about CERN, a lot about these technologies that they're using out there to do crazy things. We've talked about wormholes, space-time, travel, riding on the underbelly of space-time. All the statements that CERN and others have made in terms of poking a hole in this and trying to fold dimensions into this one. Well, now, outside of all that stuff and, and atom smashing and doing all that, they're saying that all kinds of countries, 35 countries, have now come together laying the groundwork for what they're saying is one of humanity's most ambitious experiments. This is to harness nearly unlimited amounts of energy by creating small stars on Earth. This changes things fundamentally because, as I and others have argued for the longest time, I do not believe that this universe, even the sun, is working in the manner in which they say believe that this is a electromagnetic universe and that that sun could very well be cold fusion and this is why we see things feeding off of it maybe going to and from in and out of it and as we discussed last night on the live stream you have black holes where things are sucked into it to never be seen again and then you have stars where things are spit out of it any connection maybe anyhow creating small stars here on planet earth is definitely a game changer and they're very serious about doing this so just imagine how long they've known this because they are decades in advance of the public and what they tell them I think maybe they had this when they were writing star wars and star trek the originals yeah i'll leave a link it's been Dabu 7. Much love.